In our factoring and algebraic fractions course, we have to learn how to multiply algebraic fractions. Example one has two algebraic fractions that are being multiplied. The first step is to factor everything completely. The numerator on this side has a common factor of 3c. If we factor it out, we get 2c minus 1. The denominator also has a common factor of 3c. If we factor it out, we get c squared minus 9d squared. This is a difference of squares, so it is still factorable, but we will do that in the next step. Here we have a simple trinomial. What two numbers multiply to give a 3, but add to give a negative 4? They are negative 3 and negative 1, so we have c minus 3d and c minus d. This is not factorable, so we just copy it down. Let's factor our difference of squares. d squared minus 9d squared factors to c minus 3d, c plus 3d. The rest gets copied down. And now we can start canceling. The 2c minus 1 here will cancel with this one. The c minus 3d here will cancel with this one. The 3c and the 3c cancel. All we're left with on the top is c minus d. And all we're left with on the bottom is this c plus 3d. This expression cannot be further simplified, so we're finished. In example two, we have three algebraic fractions that are being multiplied. And the first step, as usual, is to factor everything. This first numerator is a difference of squares and gives us m minus n, m plus n. The denominator is a common factor and gives us 5m minus n. The denominator here starts with a trinomial. What two numbers multiply to give 1 and add to give 2? The answers are 1 and 1. So you get m plus n, m plus n. And then this m plus 1 squared I can just write separately. m plus 1, m plus 1. The numerator has a common factor that should be done first. I'm factoring out the 5, and that gives m squared plus 3m plus 2. I still have more factoring to do. Here, what two numbers multiply to give a 4 and add to give a 5? They are 4 and 1. So you have m plus 4, m plus 1. What two numbers multiply to give 8 and add to give 6? That is 4 and 2, m plus 4, m plus 2. I will remind you, if you're shaky on this factoring, this process is impossible. You have to be very strong with your factoring techniques in order to make this thing work out. Now I have to factor this trinomial. That means I have a lot of copying to do. m minus n, m plus n, 5, m minus n, times 5, I'll leave brackets for this, m plus n, m plus n, m plus 1, m plus 1, times m plus 4, m plus 1, m plus 4, m plus 2. But two numbers multiply to give 2 and add to give 3, they are 2 and 1 m plus 2, m plus 1. Now I'm ready to do my cancelling. I have an m minus n and m minus n. I have a 5 and a 5. I have an m plus n and m plus n. I have an m plus 1 and m plus 1. I have an m plus 2 and m plus 2. I have an m plus 4 and m plus 4. I have an m plus 1, an m plus 1. All that's left is this, 
Remember though, that n plus n is in the denominator, so I have to write it in the denominator of my answer. There's nothing left in the numerator, which means there's a one left in the numerator, and we are finished.